Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 with the Rude Man. And, uh, yeah, I'm back on North Dakota. Uh-oh. What did I do? How did I do that? I got the blinker going. I don't know how I did it. There, got it off. Blade Melon, how are you? Thanks for stopping by, appreciate it. Thank you, Scorp. Grab some canola here this morning. Well, this afternoon, I guess. Tis afternoon. Oh, did ya? Um, I dinked around with it a little bit, but I haven't actually played it. been messing around with that uh, that Comston map by Oxygen Dave. It's got some issues with it, but they're I think they're probably easily fixed. Hey Dennis, how are you? I hope you're doing well. I thought that uh, deer map was only one map, one field. <laughs> Five or six fields, maybe. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a strange little map, isn't it? It's a cute little map, but it's got some big fields. Danny DeVito, where'd that come from? Yeah, I'm going to rely on you guys today on this live stream because I'm not feeling very good. So I'm just going to kind of play a little bit and chat if I feel like it. Um, I spent the whole morning modding so i got eight new mods nothing to write home about but what i did was that calmston map is a typical european map which means the roads are the size of sidewalks there's hedges everywhere and brick walls everywhere and you're you barely have enough room to get any decent size equipment the starting piece of equipment for harvesting is a Klaus 
and it's almost too big for the map. You can't you can't move it around. So, Daddy DeVito, everybody needs money. Temps are cold, 28, 28 degrees. It's it's actually kind of warm here. Hi, Andy. Uh, last night it was it didn't it only got down to about 51. And uh, I get I guess that's okay. I don't know. I had to turn the heat down because I can't sleep when it's warm. Anyway, what I did was I was messing around with that Calmston map, and again. As I mentioned, it's a typical European map. It's it the way it's built. Uh, it's done well, but it does have some issues. Now, uh, the map comes with some equipment. There's a couple of John Deere's. Um, there is a Fent. There's a Klaus uh, harvester. The tractors are all medium tractors. There's no large equipment. Um, the sprayer is a is a uh, pull behind the tractor spray rig. For example, the um, cultivator is a smaller cultivator. And so what I did was I took the uh, well. Well, I'll just show you. I took the equipment that was there and I modded it. So I've got. Uh, a six R series mod. Now there isn't a six R in that in that map, but there is a a fent, a medium sized fent. And so I modded that. Um, let's see what else did I do? Oh wait a minute! I'm sorry. I lied. There is a six R. There's two of them. There's two six Rs on that map and they are the 6230s so i modded that and then uh for hoots and giggles i modded a a large one i think what did i mod uh I modded something i can't remember maybe that wasn't it the fent um i modded the the cloth that's on that map, I modded it. Now, it, it, he's using in-game equipment, so I didn't mod. There, I didn't mod what he had. I just modded. I just went into the in-game, grabbed what he was using, and modded it. So the spray rig, for example, that he had, I, I modded the header that, that was in there. Uh, I don't normally use the smaller equipment, so I thought, well, why don't I mod some? Since, uh, you know, every once in a while you might need a, you might want to play on a smaller map. I modded the cultivator right here, the Cockerling uh, all-rounder flatline 600. I modded that. And let's see, I modded the spray rig. Oh, where's the sprayer? All of these are in the OneDrive for the uh, patrons, if you're interested in any of those. He did have one of the rollers, but I've already modded that. All right, where am I missing? Spares. I modded this right here, <clears throat> the Vantage. And then I modded a trailer the one that's on there. <clears throat> this one right here, the this, this smaller, it's the uh, half pipe HP 20. Uh, you know, you could use it in uh, conjunction with another trailer. You could use it as a pup trailer, I think. But I modded it up a little bit. So, yeah, I modded about eight things all together. And uh, I went in and... Bad tree, bad tree. Scorpion woke up hot. 
Yeah, I've done that last couple nights in a row. Woke up and just kicked the covers off and sweat to death. Oh, there's Brain Dead, uh, Bad Tree, and My Tractor. All of that is all one word. Bad Tree is one word. Brain, brain, was it Brain Dead? No. No brains. I think it's no brains. And then uh, the tree one is Bad Tree. I'll have to try that. I can't remember. I'll try no brains. I think, yeah, that's what it is. It's no brains. So, uh, Jagan was exposed to somebody in school. And uh, that means Addie was as well. And Amy uh, is not feeling well today. I'm not feeling well. So, I'm going to leave the entertainment to you guys. I'm just here to run the thing. Because, yeah, I'm just not, not feeling very good. All right, let's go grab this. Double no brains. <laughs> who, who got theirs first? Did, uh, did Scorpion do it? Who did no, who did no brains? Yeah, Scorpion must have beat me to it. Yeah, I, I told you guys the old, uh, what my doctor had to say. Basically, of all his patients, I'm the one he's most worried about. I'm at the, the very top of his list because I, because I tick every column, I guess. That's how he put it. Lights are coming on. I'm going to have to head to the old farm bed. Yeah, so if you guys need any uh, medium to small equipment, I'm starting to mod some. If you've got anything you want modded, let me know. Any particular piece of equipment. Yeah, I haven't. I didn't sleep very good last night or the night before, really. Um, I've been having trouble, and it's one way for me to know that I'm not feeling well, because I've got diabetes. You guys know that, and I control my blood sugars very, very well. My every time I go in, my doctors pat me on the back, saying how good a job I do it at keeping my blood sugar steady. You know, over over time which is important. Um, and so, if I'm having trouble controlling my blood sugars, usually means I'm not well. There's something, my body is fighting something. Because usually I don't have that kind of problem, but the last couple of days, especially last night, 
my blood sugars would go way up and then way down and then back up again like a yo-yo and last night at about I don't know 3:30 my I have a sensor in my arm that that uh, monitors what my blood is doing and about 3:30 in the morning the damn thing went off and said that I had low blood sugar so I keep a few pieces of candy, candy bars, Milky Way, Payday, Snickers, whatever. I've usually got a candy bar or something at the side of the bed in case I wake up and need something. And So the alarm set, set me off and I reached over and grabbed me a Milky Way and chowed it down and rolled over and went back to sleep. And, and that normally would bring it up pretty quickly so a little after four o'clock the damn alarm went off again and again it was low and I thought well maybe the candy bar hasn't kicked in yet so I wasn't going to eat a second one because I don't want it going sky high either so I just rolled over and went back to sleep so about 4 30 it goes off again and it's still low and again, I decided now I'm going to wait a little bit. And I went back to sleep. Five o'clock rolls around. It goes off again. I wait a little while. 5.30, it goes off. And it's still very low. And I thought, well, crud. And by then, I was pretty much awake. So I just got up. So I've been up since about 5.30 this morning. And funny thing is... On a normal basis, if my blood sugar is low when I wake up in the morning, if I get up and just walk around, grab myself, you know, a cup of tea and and uh, that kind of thing, it 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 comes up. Like normally, if it was around, I don't know, 80 or 90, I'll get up and just walking around, it'll come up to 113, 115, which is still pretty normal. Uh, you know, 80, 90, that's low, but anything under 100 is low. But anything between 100 and 130 is okay for a diabetic. So anyway, it makes me think, you know, I'm not feeling good. Well, it shows because I can't control my blood sugars. So, how's your day going, everybody? Had to say hi to the wifey. She just got home. I'm going to run to the farmhouse and it's starting to get dark and that's not a bad thing except for when you're recording it if it gets dark you guys won't be able to see anything is that supposed to be shadow or do I just have a dirty house I think that's the shadow of a tree yeah that's what it is I guess that's cool. It says I'm sleeping. Why are my covers going up and down? What am I supposed to be doing? Well, it's not daylight. Oh, it's snowing. Oh, man. Is that going to stop? It stopped. It stopped my dog on it. I should have just let it go. Well, it stopped snowing. Let's see if it start up again. It's full, for one thing. Let's grab... Uh, 
tractor here. Not great. It had a garage shop bill for around fifteen hundred dollars. Was that on an automobile? What was wrong with it? Scorpion's got some money he can lend you. He's building a brand new computer. What they do to your car that cost fifteen hundred bucks. Did they have to replace the driver? <laughs> replace the driver, get it. Load up the front here. Maybe a little in the back. Spread it out a little bit. I'm thirsty. And really, I tell you, the way I'm feeling, cold 7 up sounds pretty good right now. All right, let's uh, let's send this rig off. Uh, we're going to Maurice, so let's uh, pop him on his way. Now I got to get this harvest done before winter really hits. Springs, drive shaft, horn, screen washer. Emissions failed and other crap. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Two bald tires. Hey Banks, how's it going? I'm not feeling good, I'm gonna do one of those today. I don't want the I don't want the caffeine because I might lay down for a nap when I'm done just because I'm not feeling well and I don't want the caffeine to keep me up. If I lay down, I want to sleep.
And I've got to, uh, I got to check my store because I don't think that my store takes furniture. And some of the mods I'm looking at now have sell furniture and stuff. Which is one of the problems with that Calmston map. Evidently, uh, you uh, you, can, there, you can't sell some items. You can't sell oats. Uh, you can't sell uh, some forms of wood, like wood planks, things like that. Now, that's not a problem for me, because I put my own store in, so... I, would, I, I could care less whether things on the map... What was that ding? Oh, Maurice. So he's at Maurice, I guess. Anyway, I need to check, though, because uh, I don't think I added olives and things like that to my... And, and grapes. I don't think I added that to my store. I need to check and see what I've got in there. It should cover it because we're, we're using scripts and stuff now. And it should be okay, but I'll have to find out. So in other words, if it's on the map, it should be in the store. Tires all around. You're an all-around tire. Well, I wonder if the tractor's coming back or if he's just stuck there now. <coughs> yeah, he's stuck there. I just I didn't set it up to go round and round or anything like that, so I can just kind of Whoa, don't do that. There you go. I don't know where he's going. I sent him to the wrong field, I think. <laughs> I think I sent him to the wrong field. Did I? Yeah, I, I think I... No, I didn't. That's the right field. think oh well I'll find out when he gets there hey Steve how you doing Steve the farmers in the house Yeah, that doesn't sound good, Steve. Shellbrook Creek map. Is it another European maps? I'm not real crazy about European maps. I, I play a few, but they're just kind of hard to play because they have roads the size of sidewalks. They don't have real big fields. Um, they got rock walls and hedges around the, all the fields and it's just kind of a pain in the butt. No, it's Canada. What's the difference between Canada and England? Don't they still salute the Queen? In Sasquatch Town? Where's Sasquatch Town?
Well, I'll have to. I'll have to download it. Scorpion to tell you, I don't watch other people that do what I do. So, if I'm playing Red Dead Redemption, I will not watch anybody else play it. If I, if I'm playing Farm Sim, I don't watch other people that play it. Uh, occasionally, I might go to a to a web page if it's somebody that I know. I might go to a live stream just to support somebody I know. But as a normal rule, I don't watch other people that do what I do. I just don't have time for one thing. So, <clears throat> if I have time to watch YouTube, I certainly don't want to watch, what you know, Farm Sim. <laughs> I want to watch something that I don't do. Big Field, Steve? I like that. Yeah, Steve, I, I lost my dad just a few years ago, and I still feel it once in a while. They keep saying that you get over it. You don't get over it. You don't. It's uh, It gets easier. But... Um, and you shouldn't get over it. You should, uh, you know, celebrate the memories that you might have. You see, my dad, my mom died when I was six, and I really have no memories, none at all, really. Um, there's a couple of things that might trigger something. But for the most part, I don't have any memories of my mom. But then I was sick myself until I was six years old. I was in and out of hospitals with my heart. I had open heart surgery at six years old, and that's when my mom died. I had my surgery after my mom died. Well, um, it's it's a strange thing to say. There was another uh, John Force. You guys know John. Uh, he lost his mom just before Christmas, and it's kind of hard to console somebody. I mean, you just don't know what to say, and. The only thing I could think of to say was, I, yeah, I, I lost my mom, but of the two of us, I'm probably the luckier one because I did not know my mother. And so it's, it's a two-edged sword. I didn't know my mother, so it might have been a little bit easier. The loss might have been a little easier. But the other side to that coin is... I never knew her, and so I had no memories. My whole life I had no memories about my mother, and that's not good either, that's, that's it's tragic. Yeah, I really do, uh, Steve. I really do wish I did. Um, you know, because I, I don't. I, even though the my the loss wasn't there because I didn't have any memories of her, I didn't have any memory of her, of her at all. So that's not good either.
Thanks, Steve. The Wild West, huh? I like the Wild West. Um, I played... Um, I played No Man's Land quite a bit, too, and I played it again in 20, uh, 2022. I, I, yes, I want some new maps that I haven't played, but I don't mind being nostalgic and going back and playing an older map. So, while Wes is out, I might look at it and see what they've done with it. Wow, Craig, has it been that long? Wow. Yeah, she passed about two or three years after my dad did. Oh, so it is the... That's the original guy, Cas 64 So, yep. At least maybe it'll be done right. Yeah, I know. Uh, Scorpion. Scorpion and I feel like we knew um, Craig's mom because we watched TV together. We used to watch American TV together. And <laughs> the story behind that is, uh, you probably heard it. Um, I, had a, um, I had a server that we were playing on. Me, uh, Bill, Scorpion... Uh, Craig and in the background Craig's mom was watching TV and we could hear it over the speakers just as plain as day and we were just sitting there laughing and she was enjoying some American TV I can't remember what she was watching but yeah we we watched TV together so I remember Craig's mom God, that noisy. Would you just throw me out? Or is that me banging on the... That might have been me banging on the side when I got off this thing. My Rubicon's getting dirty.
Anybody using the auto repair? Oh, I got something. What's turned on on that? This part. Uh, line height above tractor. Switch to markers. White hood. Show markers. No. That didn't work. That wasn't what I wanted then. Better turn that one back on. Show next path. No. Display help. Okay, I don't know what the hell that is then. Because... Uh-oh. All changes will be lost. No. Is that... Uh, oh, maybe that is... Um, that might be um, the GPS. Yeah, that was a GPS. I thought it was OneDrive. You used the mobile repair. Um, I, I think this is auto repair, not mobile. And uh, explain to me what you mean by mobile. Is it is it in a truck, or or do you just do you use it? I had to change the uh, key bindings because I use uh, I've got an Nvidia, and I use the Nvidia. So if I use the control, it pops up. It's look in the right hand corner. You'll see that uh, performance overlay is Alt R. The auto repairer uses Alt R, and so I can't use it. I had to rebind it. So I've got it rebound. And what you do is you go in, you can change the global. Um, you can change whether you have more than one farm. Time to update, you can change the time. Automatic repair, yes or no. Automatic repaint, yes or no. Automatic clean, yes or no. So if you mark these at yes, then you can change uh, how much damage do you want them to get before they do the auto repair. Do you want it to get all the way down to five? I don't. I think maybe 25. And then uh, the dirt, I could care about the dirt. Let's just do. Uh, I'd do 25 on that. Anyway, that's all set now. You can either turn it on and off, whatever you want to do. Just walk up and say N. Oh, I thought he liked a corn squeezer. For those of you that just came in a little bit late, you're probably wondering why things are running a little slow today. I am not feeling well today. Um, and I told the guys when I came in that they're they're gonna have to do the entertaining because I'm not I'm not doing well today I got sick kids and I don't know whether one of them got to me or not but yeah now we just need to be able to grow coconut so we can put the lime in the coconut and then we'll feel better. Uh, how come I'm not getting nothing here? 
what's happening. Got shut off somehow. Yeah, me too, Steve. But I was telling them earlier, my doctor, when I went to see my doctor uh, a few weeks ago, he told me that he wanted me to get the booster. And I said, well, I don't really want to. And he said, I don't mean to scare you, but he said, of all of my patients, every single one, you're the one I worry about the most. You're the one that's at the top of the list because you tick every box on that. So he says, I, I'm not here to scare you, but I really, I really would like to see you get that booster. And I thought, all right. So I did. I didn't want to. Repaint is expensive? Really? Well, I suppose it would be in real life, too, huh? Hey, my money's in the hole. I gotta start selling some stuff. Guy's coming in hot. Wow, I'm telling you. I like seven up, but today, today, because I'm not feeling good, it tastes like manna from heaven. It just tastes so good. No, I didn't. I didn't know I was in the red. So, I'll, uh, let's send this guy. Let's see. Let's send this guy to the store and see if he'll sell this crap. Oh, I've been thinking about it, Bix. It's doing it that it's, I have trouble with. Where's my little go-kart? There it is. I don't know where in the hell auto drive sent in that guy. Well, I don't know. I don't know why he sent it all the way back to the farm. Did I have it set up wrong? A lot of dirt on the road. Look at it. Kicking up dirt on the road. Andy never agrees on anything, does he? Nah, Andy, he agrees on everything. Andy is a very uh, agreeable guy. It's Craig, does not. <laughs> Now I'm really going to get in trouble.
<coughs> well, uh, okay, he didn't stop at Maurice, so that's a good thing. This thing's pretty quiet, but this this game sure has a lot of glitches in there graphics dashboard is all glitchy the fields are glitchy Craig says not this time Yeah, let's see if I got that set up right. Problem is, it's set up for that little bitty trailer. If I get a bigger trailer, it might not be set up correctly. Well, that should take me out of the hole. Yeah. Trust but verify. Right, Binks? Val Canola's selling pretty good. I'm in the money. I'm in the money. It's an everlasting gobstopper. It ain't stopping. That's some Willy Wonka candy there. Man, Canola's going... Oh, there it went. All right. So, let's uh, this thing back on the road. I need to test this uh, auto drive anyway. Let's see here. Ah, oh, Steve, thank you very much. I appreciate it. So if we're going to do this, let's do... Um, all right, so let's see. We got... That's deliver. That's uh, pick up point and deliver. That's just driving. That is pick up and deliver. That's deliver. That's load. Load change mode. That's unload combine. Drive. Pick up and deliver. Deliver. Load. Change mode. Load. Okay. I think it's that one, pick up and deliver, and it would be pick up at Maurice and deliver at the store, and then maybe pop a couple of those, I don't know. That that should do it, right? And have it canola. Let's see what he let's see what he'll do. Game over, man. Game over. Yeah, lurking's Craig's thing. And feeding the snake. Lurking and feeding the snake.
Now we'll see if this thing works like it's supposed to. Well, he's going to Maurice. That looks good. He's loading. That's good. Rolls Royce Phantom. In real life or in the game? You're talking in game, aren't you? Disco here, disco there. Oh God, disco. God, what a fad that was. Well, there he goes. It looks like it might be working. But I've only got one trailer is a problem. So now what am I gonna do? I got uh, canola to pick up and it's winter. I gotta get it picked up before it starts snowing again. Well, let's grab the old fast track here. Once a month for six months. What does he do for the other six months? Wow, it looks like he got to the store already. Oh, th is this gets shut off again. It, I, oh, I don't know what happened. I didn't turn it back on once I, once I emptied it last time. Oh, man. Man, it's hot in here. Either that or I'm getting a fever. I feel like Elvis. Fever! Fever! Las Vegas? That's not what it is, though, is it? It's not Fever Las Vegas. It's Viva. Oh, I always thought it was Fever Las Vegas. All right, we'll park this guy here and see if that, if that feller... Well, there he is. He's taken off for another load, so it must be working. Low maintenance pets. Well, so is a bear. A bear hibernates. I don't think that'd be low maintenance, though. And he's fasting, huh? Your snake is a health nut. Got a fever for the flavor of Pringles? I don't eat Pringles. Somebody said, why don't you eat Pringles? I says, because they're not real. And they, what do you mean they're not real? I said, how in the hell does everyone the same size and shape and fit in a, in a cardboard tube? That's got to be fake. That's not a real potato chip. I know. I make potato chips. And they're hardly ever the same shape and size. Do you let him loose to get the mice in your house? I mean, it'd be like a Roomba carousing the house, sweeping the floors. 
A pressed tato, huh? That doesn't sound real to me. Mash potatoes and then cook them in a mold, huh? I what's a crisp? Back selling again. Is that the second load or the third? I can't remember. I haven't been paying attention. But I need that truck back. Playing chicken. Which one's better, John Deere or Mirinda? This is the last, he's on his last row here. Sweet. Now I gotta decide what to plant. I think I might plant some cotton on this. Cotton sells good. What do they call that? A snake TV dinner? A frozen rat? A snake TV dinner? Alright, let's go grab the combine because he's gonna he's gonna run off on us here. I hate getting stuff off the Giants Mod Hub uh, because they're so damn slow. I got uh, something that was only 500 megabytes and it took over an hour to get. And whenever I have to get an update of the game, it takes hours to download.
my lazy man's trailer. I gotta figure out how the seed maker works. And the fertilizer. I don't have any poop though. Well, this guy can get put away until next harvest. We got a million eight out of that. I think I'm gonna stop this guy. And uh, mark him for now. Let's see, I need that tractor though. Or a tractor, I guess. If you gotta buy poop for the poop maker, why don't you just buy the fertilizer?
Now, I don't think this is a cedar that cultivates. I have a cedar that cultivates before it uh, seeds, or while it's seeding. I don't think this one does. Let me see. Maybe it does. Maybe, baby. Maybe it does. Oh shoot, what am I doing? Potatoes. No, no, no. No. Potatoes. Cotton. Poop is cheaper than farts? What? Oh, furt. Oh, I thought you typed fart. My uh, computer's a little bit too far away that has the chat on it. The print is, I should increase the print size, I guess. A little bit. So is that all in one silo? I saw I saw a mod. It's just a single silo that sells everything. Is that what you're talking about? Mr. Scorpy and oh. God, my mouth is sore. You guys ever bite your lip? Do you hate when that happens? I was telling you that I had uh, problems with my blood sugars the other night. And I had two candy bars sitting beside the bed. One was a Milky Way. One was a Payday. And I didn't want the Payday because it's got peanuts in it. I just wanted to chew some chocolate and go to sleep. And I grabbed the uh, Payday by mistake. And once I opened it, I thought, well, hell, i got to eat it now. And I started chewing on it half asleep. I bit my lip. Oh, jeez. I bit my lower lip. It hurt like hell. Big chunk of meat hanging. And then I thought, okay, and I kept chewing. And then I bit the inside of my left cheek. And I'm screaming in bed, just, God damn it. And so I start being as careful as I can chewing because I don't want to bite it again. And I bite the right side. By the time I was done with that damn candy bar, I had bit my lip and both cheeks. Oh, I was so pissed. And all I could, I couldn't even taste the candy bar. All I could taste was blood. Ugh. The problem is I don't want to get up and eat something because that, then I'm awake. I can't go back to sleep. Yeah, I've had that happen before where you uh, were eating something that you got sick on, like, say, spaghetti. And then for years uh, uh, from the, and then, you can't eat spaghetti anymore. 
I just hope I never get sick eating potatoes. Because I can live on potatoes. I very seldom bite my tongue. But I bite my lip every once in a while. I shouldn't have been eating a payday in bed anyway because I'm afraid I'll choke on a peanut or something because you're half asleep. Yeah, well, I told you the story about how I started drinking Seven Up. I didn't, I didn't drink Seven Up. I always drank Pepsi. I was a Pepsi holic, and uh, I never, I never drank Seven Up. I had, I had had a Seven Up occasionally and didn't think much of it. One time, I was in the hospital, and I was really sick in the hospital, really sick. And a nurse came in and said, "You need to uh, have some fluid. Would you like something cold to drink?" And I said, oh, God, please. And so she brought me in a 7-Up in a straw. And I started drinking that 7-Up. And I swear to God, that was this, the most wonderful thing I'd ever drank in my life. I was so uh, dehydrated. It just tastes so good. And that's when I started drinking 7-Up on a regular basis. Scorpion, you nasty man, you. It's no wonder we can't get the girls to stay on line. I haven't seen Lynn, I haven't seen Dar. Um, we didn't see Lori today. I know that, uh, that, I know I've got a couple of gals that come in once in a while. I haven't seen them for a while. Let's see, there's uh, Queen Chris, and uh, oh gosh, what was the other gal that used to come in a lot? Now I'm going to be in trouble because they're probably listening. You don't remember me? Yeah, I do. I just, <laughs> I just don't feel bad because I... I have to call my wife Honey in the morning because I can't remember her name. Now, I've been awful damn lucky I haven't called her somebody else's name. But I just say, good morning, Honey, because I can't remember who the hell she is. A hundred degrees out, ice cold Sprite. I used to drink Sprite write a lot because uh, I used to go to a lot of movies and uh, and uh, they they almost always had sprites so I'd get it something that I didn't normally get at home because it's a movie it's special you know and I would drink sprite now they got all different kind of stuff they got that fandango or oh, wait a minute no that's a ticket sales place Fanta they got Fanta and all kinds of different kind of sodas. I don't like uh, those kinds of soda soda machine uh, drinks. They're if they don't mix it right, is you're just drinking carbonated water with a little bit of flavor to it. Uh, yeah, there's um, Southern Girl. I, I don't, uh, I didn't mention her. I haven't seen her for a while.
the farm sim guy. Hey, hello, how are you? Yeah, he's in here. He's, uh, we, we, we have all kinds here. Um, he has his own spot. Usually it's in the gutter. Uh, but everybody seems to love the gutter nowadays, so he's pretty popular. Yeah, Scorp keeps me on my toes. <laughs> I bet you do. I bet you do. Have a gutter for Scorpion and you name it after him. Yeah, except for Scorpion's daughter doesn't love me anymore. I used to be her best friend. Now she won't talk to me anymore. I got to get this thing planted before winter hits. I don't know why I'm planting cotton. Because it sells good, I guess. I should have just bought the field next to me. It's already got cotton on it. Well, it's good to hear from you. Glad you stopped by. Yeah, it's a little slow. Cotton's a little slow, but it pays well. I better get my little my my little puddle jumper off there off the field he'll get seated right up look I Kenny Rogers hey Kenny he's gonna head for the farm and do some gambling that hey, Kenny well uh, cotton was okay in 19 because I had some mods that I could cut loose cotton and the header was like 50 feet or 50 yards wide you could really do some cotton hauling there I had uh, the harvester held over you know two million or something like that it was completely uh, legit Lori's here. We were just talking about you, Lori. How you doing? Lori snuck in the back door. But I I trust that uh, that she closed the screen door, so we'll be okay. See if I can outrun. Whoa, whoa! This thing really goes. Yeah, close the storm door. <clears throat>
I tried locking Scorpion out, but he's got a key. Haven't seen Bill today either. Here we can we can think about Bill. There, that'll that'll keep us reminded of Bill. That's how Bill drives, by the way. Hey, is Steve still around? He's driving the uh, Cedar today. I'll tell you what, the cotton is, uh, I'm, I'm getting to see a lot more of the field with cotton than he did those potatoes. Yeah, Steve's doing the seeding today. How you doing, Steve? You staying awake? Straight as an arrow. Look at that. Needs Lyman and needs rolling. Did I roll those other fields? I can't remember. I don't recall. I uh, snuck out a second ago to check my temperature. I do. I am getting a slight fever. So we'll see. See how I feel. I usually run pretty cool. Yeah, Steve knows how to do it. All right, where'd my where'd my wings go? Taking hand and to sneak past his wife. <laughs> oh, I'll never forget that. I just, in my mind, I had a whole picture of him walking through the bedroom with a keg on his on his shoulder and crouched down, trying to keep his wife from waking up. I must have rolled the other fields because they don't show it needs it. Okay, that's canola. And that's canola. That one must be the potatoes, that weird shaped field. Potatoes. Instead of a tea, it's down to a beer. Scorpion, didn't you say you did something to split these two fields up here? 
they sure are planted close together. Oh no! No! Steve, what are you doing? You're ruining my potatoes! Oh no! <laughs> We're gonna have cotton growing in the potato field. <laughs> It's my fault. These two fields are right into each other. And I didn't do a headland around. My fault. Well, you know, I generally put a headland around because I like to have turnaround room, you know. And I just didn't do it on this side for some reason. The canola? I think he means canola. I don't think it's canola. Yeah, I think it's cannoli. All right, who do we got driving now? Uh, Dar. Dar's running the cedar this time. I <laughs> to fire Steve. Every time I hear canola, I think of that commercial where the guy's got a cold and he's and he's singing canola. <laughs> it's not canola. What is it? Um, he's blowing that big horn on the mountain. Ricola. Instead of Ricola, it says canola. Holy canola. Diet canola. Sugar free canola. Oh shoot, I didn't lime, did I? Oh well. I'll lime next. I'll lime twice next time. Cola is a butt in Spanish. I've heard that before. I like big colas and I cannot lie. Ah, oh, I wish I felt better today. Oh, well, there's always tomorrow. It's, it's rebut. It's not cola, but cooler. It's, it's a cold cola, a cooler cola.
but I'm not streaming tomorrow? I might be. You never know. I stream every day. I just don't push the button. Because, you know, people have asked me after all these years, people have asked me, when you're just playing games at home by yourself, do you still talk? And I started laughing. I said, actually, I do. <laughs> I must have run out of seeds here. All right. I did run out of cotton seeds. You'll be there. <laughs> yeah, you've been there. Yep. My wife, she'll walk by all the time and ask me if I'm recording. And I'll say, no, why? And she goes, because you're in here talking. And I, <laughs> and I said, well, usually I'll close the door if I'm recording. Yeah, we used to have fun. I remember the time Scorpion hid uh, Lynn's pickup truck in the bottom of a lake. That was fun. It's a good thing she lives way up north. She'd have, she'd have got a hold of him. Yeah, she was she was pretty mad. Yeah, no Lynn. Um I, I also we haven't seen Jonathan Mortimer for a while. I uh, haven't really been keeping track but um Andy, when's the last time we saw Jonathan? Do you remember? Did he did he come in at Christmas time? All right, Binks, have fun, buddy. Let us know what you think of it. was before Christmas, huh? It seems like one of the last things I heard him say was uh, he wasn't looking forward to Christmas. All right, who's working now? Serge is here, and Serge isn't here today. All right, this is a big field. It's going to take a while for that guy. Are you are you just not doing FB anymore or 
did you get rid of it? I got rid of all that stuff. I got rid of Twitter and FB and all that junk. So-called social media. It's like cesspool stuff. And it's addictive. I know it is. I mean, I, I do actually know people that uh, literally have a phone in front of them all day long, every day. And they're doing nothing but that stuff. She killed her account. Uh, Carol still uses hers once in a while, but she doesn't know how. Um, so she usually just uses Messenger once in a while, but... I know people have uh, more than one phone because their battery won't work through the whole day. So they keep one of their old phones just to do that. Hell, my phone lasts for a couple days. But I don't use it. I'll tell you, what I use my phone for mostly is music. Um, I have a... Um, a Bluetooth speaker up by the bed and I keep music running at night or if I lay down and take a nap God, I'm still getting questions and comments from uh, Farmer's Dynasty. I had a comment just this morning from Farmer's Dynasty. Some guy just started the game and he can't find the main farm. And uh, was asking me where the main farm was. So if I remember right, I'm pretty sure it is. It's right in the center of the field or in the, of the map. But you got to find the main farm or you can't start the game because you inherit the farm from your grandpa, I think it is. And, and uh, you have to fix it up because it's all knocked down and stuff. Thank you. 
I hate to say it, but when I had FB, about the only people that I really banned or, or blocked were family. <laughs> People are crazy nowadays. You unfriend somebody, they come after you with a gun or a knife or something. It's like, what? what? You unfriended me. I don't have any friends, so it's easy for me. I, I, the biggest trouble I got with my kids when they were little was when I told them one day, I was well, I wasn't telling them, I was telling Carol. I was upset at one of them, or all of them, maybe. And I said, you know, I love my kids, but sometimes I do not like them. And they just, they were just upset like nobody's business how could you say such a thing to your own kids and you're so evil blah 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 and it was later when they got a little bit older that my youngest did something that pissed off the whole family and my older two came in and said dad you remember when you said that you love your kids but you don't always like them and i said yeah we know what you we know what you mean now we, we love our sister, but right now we don't like her very much. And I said, oh, that's what I meant. I mean, the thing of it is, family or people is like everybody else. You know, the only difference is you kind of have to put up with them because they're family. But you don't have to like them all. It's not funny. <laughs> yeah, um, that happens to me on uh, the consoles. I, I've got an Xbox and a PlayStation, and I never play them. I don't. Uh, I don't play them hardly at all. And so I'll have people come on and say, well, we're pissed off at you. And I said, why? We saw you on uh, Xbox and tried to say hello and you just ignored us. And I can say, if you saw me on Xbox, I can guarantee it wasn't me. No, it was your account. And I said, that's not what I mean. I said, the kids get on there and play Minecraft once in a while. I never get on the Xbox or the PlayStation. I just don't. The only time that I use my consoles is if I'm on vacation because when I travel, I don't want to pack my huge computer around. So I'll grab my Xbox or my PlayStation and a couple games, and that's the only time I play. And then generally, I'm not online with it when I do that. Ew. Your case with FB, yeah. Well, see, it's it's always about them. It's always about, you know, if you've got... Everybody's got family like that. 
you know, that I got a, a, a brother that it's always about him. And, and it gets so old. Um, we can walk outside and it'll be raining. And he'll look it up and say, why me? Why is it always raining on me? And I said, uh, the rest of us are out here too, you dumb turd. But that's what I mean. It's always about him. You know, he's got a flat tire. Oh my God, I'm the only one that ever gets a flat tire. And, you know, it's just everything that happens, it's against him. He's going to run out here in a minute. He'll be out of seeds pretty quick. I don't think you can see through that plastic to see, can you? Whoops, I didn't mean to grab that. I thought I'd let it go. Gotta find my roller. That field needs rolling. We're gonna rick roll it. I rick rolled Scorpion the other day. Tearing up the potatoes here. Yeah, Twitter's the worst. It's just the worst. I mean, literally, it is the sewer of the internet. It's just terrible. And people are so bad on it. What does a roller do to the crops? Anything? Does it tear them up? So, Lori, I modded some John Deere's this morning. I got up and uh, modded. I did about eight mods this morning. Uh, I decided I didn't have any medium-sized tractors. I don't have any small ones either that are modded, so I modded a couple of John Deere's. I, I modded a 6R and the and a 6M. <laughs> Cuz I'm not 9. You should have told her, well, yeah, I didn't tell you I had to go to the bathroom either, did I? Uh, it looks like I missed a strip on the edge of the field, didn't I? Yeah, I, they're on the one drive, Steve. What I did was a new map that came out, that Calmston map by Oxygen Dave. 
he's got medium and small size equipment so I just went in and took the combine he was using uh, the two John Deere's the the uh, the fent that he's using the spray rig that he's using and I just took them all um, I cloned them all out of the game and uh, modded them Yeah, hey, don't get me started on talking to my mom. Um, you guys, sometimes people get confused because I'll talk about my mom. And then I told you earlier my mom died when I was six. Uh, no, I don't talk to my dead mother. Um, I was put in foster homes uh, quite a little bit when I was young. There were uh, 12 kids in the family, not including myself. And... and um, I had health problems, so uh, I used to get farmed out to foster homes, and I had a, a lady that kind of raised me when I got into uh, school, and she helped me get through high school and into college, and uh, you know took me into her home, and so I call her mom. And um, she used to call the house, and sometimes I'd be watching TV or something, and I would put the phone down, and I would just pick it up and say, uh-huh, and then I'd set it down again, and pretty soon I'd pick it up, oh, yeah, and then put it down. She never knew I wasn't listening. But she used to do this. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh, it's last call time. Uh, real quick, um, she used to call. And she would want to talk to me, and she would. She'd tell me everything that's going on. And then she'd want to talk to Carol, and she'd tell Carol the same thing. Then she'd want to talk to the kids, and, of course, she'd tell the kids the same thing. So it got to the point where anytime she calls, it we'll put it on speakerphone, and we'll tell her, okay, everybody's right here in the living room. Go ahead and, you know, and talk. And tell us what's going on. <laughs> because she kept having to repeat it over and over and over. Anyway, guys, uh, yeah, that's uh, my call to leave. I uh, Seriously, I'm not feeling very good, so I think I'm going to run in and take a nap. But I'm so glad that you all came to spend some time with me today. And I uh, hope to see you again in the next one. I hope to see anybody in the morning. <laughs> yeah, made me, made me pretty strong. All right, everybody. I got to go. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being you. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time. Ta-ta for now.